Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a comparison of Notion versus Trello. We will be comparing these tools side by side, taking a look at the pricing, the features, the pros and cons, and overall everything that you need to know when making a decision for which tool to choose. The first thing that I want to cover when it comes to Trello versus Notion is going to be the pricing for both of these tools. Now, both of these tools have free plans that are free forever, so we can see we get a free plan of Notion right here and we also have a free plan on Trello. Beyond that, Notion is quite considerably more expensive. If you do need to upgrade, if you need more tools than what the free plan offers, then Notion is going to be $10 per month for this plus plan and $15 per month for business. And then Trello is $5 per month standard and $10 per month for the premium. With that in mind, there are definitely some people who are going to want to pay more for Notion because it is absolutely worth it. And then there are other people who Trello is just going to be by far the best option for. So with that being said, let's kind of jump out of the pricing and jump into both of these software and what they can do. Now, with that being said, th these two software are very, very different tools. Like they can overlap and you can get them to do similar things if this is the way you lay it out. But overall, they are very, very different tools. So Trello, you can do less, but it's a lot more simple. Like if you want to create a project manager or a task manager, Trello is absolutely phenomenal and it's very easy to use and it's cheaper. Whereas Notion can just do so much more. You can do so many different things on Notion, but it's more expensive and it's got a steeper learning curve. It's harder to use. So let's start out with Trello right here. If we pop into Trello, we can see that we have some popular templates to start out with, or we can create a blank board. Now, if we browse the template gallery right here, we can see we have all of these different templates to do different things. So we can go to education right here and we can see like a remote class template. So we have weekly assignments, lab projects, exams. But with all of these, you will notice this is all kind of like task and project management, like weekly assignments. These are all tasks and it's managing these tasks. If we go to design, once again, it's going to be tasks. It's going to be about managing tasks. And this is what Trello is absolutely fantastic for. And it looks beautiful when doing it. So if I wanted to go in and create a task manager, let's just create a blank board right here. So we can create board. And in here, we can create a board title. So I'm just going to call this task manager. And then we can choose the background. We can choose from any of these beautiful backgrounds right here. Or we can go into more. We can choose from all of these different stock photos. We can choose from all of these different colors that you see right here. And overall, it definitely gives a point to Trello in how beautiful and how well designed you can make your boards look. So as an example, let's just go for this background and then we can click on create. And we are now going to be taken over into the board area. So we can start creating the board right here. I will say to do for this first section. And then for the second section, we can say in progress. Then we can say under review and complete. So we now have this all laid out along the top. And this is only a to-do list. If I was creating like a task manager for my YouTube content, then I might say to do, recorded, edited and uploaded. And then I could use this to track my YouTube videos and where each video currently is in the pipeline. Now, if we go over to Notion, we can set Notion up in a similar way if you want to be tracking tasks with this. However, because Notion can do so many different things, like I'll just show you what Notion can do if we go to templates. We can go to like an AI pitch generator and this is going to generate an AI pitch. We can take a look at a product roadmap. We can create product roadmaps with this. And you can see with Trello, if I just go to templates, all of the templates look relatively the same. Like they are created for different things, but it's overall, it's the same layout with every single one. And that is what Trello is fantastic for. But within Notion, because we can do so many things, it's a pro and a con at the same time because we can do more, but it's, it's harder to use. So to create a similar thing to what we are going to see right here on Trello, if I just go back to my workspace and then open this board back up, if we do this on Notion, we would have to get a to-do list template, as you can see right here. So we can drop this in and you can see straight from the get-go, this is a different layout. But if we switch this over to board, it switches to a similar thing. So right now we have not started in progress and done, but I want to change these up. So the way that we do this on Trello is very easy. We just click into this top bar and we can type in whatever we want. Whereas on Notion, we have to go back and basically go into the table right here and switch up what these tasks mean. So we can go to edit property and then over on this right hand side, we can change what this is. So what did we have to do in progress under review and complete? 
So we would change this to to do. Then in progress is cool. Then we would have under review and complete. So I can add a new category into here and say under review. And then we would have to switch these rounds just like that. Maybe change the color of this as well to like a purple. And now if we go back into board, you can see we have a similar layout. We have to do in progress, under review and done. To do in progress, under review and done. Well, complete. Now let's go ahead and add tasks into here. So with Trello, we can go in, we can add a card and I'm going to say to do is record Notion versus Trello. Okay, we can add that in. And once that is added, we can click on this and it's going to bring up this big screen where we can add in certain sections. So we can add a description right here of what this task is. And once that is added, we can come over here and add all of these different options. So we have things like members. This is where we can add different members of the board. So if you have different team members that you have on your Trello workspace, then you can add them in here and assign people different tasks. We can then go down to labels and choose like a label color for this. We can see the label color right there. So let's leave this as green. On Trello, we can also add in a checklist. So this is like a to-do list of everything that needs doing to complete this task. So we could add in a checklist and say, set up mic, set up camera, write script, record video. Okay. And then what we could do is as a team, we could come in here and start checking these off. So I check, I set up my mic, I set up my camera, I wrote the script, and then we could move this through and say this is now in progress, of course. Then once this is complete, we record the video, move this into under review, and we can see where everything is in this timeline. So that is the checklist right here. We can go ahead and delete that. We can also set a due date. So if I set a due date right here, let's say this is due on Monday, we can also set a time as well, and then click on save. And we can see we now have a due date for this. So if we click out, we can see when this task is going to be due and it's embedded into this card. So we can see when this is due. Perfect. We can also add an attachment so you can add in any images or videos that are going to be relevant to this task. We can also choose a cover. So let me just move this back into frame so you can see how this is actually going to look. Watch this card right here when I add a cover. I can add like a, co a cover right, there, right here. And it's going to change the cover overall on the background for this. So it just makes the board look cleaner and nicer. So that is everything that we can do on Trello. Now let's take a look at what we can do on Notion. So we can add in the same task, record Notion versus Trello. And straight away, we can also add an assignee. So if we have multiple members, just like we could on Trello, where we can go over here and we can assign members, we can do the same on Notion. So we can assign a member right there and that task is now added. Once again, we can click in and it's going to bring up this screen right here. And by default, these are the options that we are given. So we can create an AI summary. We can write a description for this and we can also set a due date. So once again, let's say that this is due on Monday. Down here, we can add a property. And in here, this is where we can choose from all of these different sections. So once again, we can add files and media. We can add checkboxes as kind of like subtasks, exactly what we need to do to complete this video, just as we did earlier on in Trello. So overall, we can essentially do the same things when we are creating a task list like this and kind of like a project manager inside of both of these tools. Now, a big difference between the free version of both of these tools is going to be the calendar view because on Trello, we actually can't get access to this unless we upgrade. So we do need to upgrade. We can get a 14 day free trial and that's going to give us access to the calendar. However, with Notion, we can get access to the calendar view anyway, even on the free trial. All we do is go up and click on calendar. And then as you can see, I now have my calendar added in right here. So on the board, when I created this task, I set a due date for Monday for that task. And it's going to show up right here. With Trello, it's going to work the exact same way. So if I was to go to Monday, then the task would show up and I would be able to see all of my tasks and when they are due on the calendar. However, the fact that this is not available on the free version of Trello is definitely something to keep in mind if you plan on using the free version of either of these tools. With that being said, this is basically where the similarities between Notion and Trello are going to end. Because with Trello, I've essentially showed you everything that we can do with Trello. We can come in here, we can create these different sections, we can create tasks, and we can move them around within these sections to create a beautiful task manager. And unless you want to upgrade to one of the more paid plans, you are basically stuck on this Kanban board. If you do upgrade, we can get like a table, we can get access to the calendar, of course, a timeline, a dashboard, and a map. Whereas on Notion, we can essentially get access to any view that we like by simply creating a new view 
and then choosing one of these views. So if I want to create a timeline view right here, we just say timeline, then done. And we can create a timeline view right here. Also, Notion is going to give you access to multiple tools in the same place. With Trello, we could just create a project manager, but inside of Notion, we can create a project manager. We can create a task manager. We can create a CRM. So if I wanted to create a CRM as well, I can create a CRM right here, drop this in. And now I have a CRM that I can go in, I can edit, and I have a CRM right here. I can go into templates and I could create a recruitment tracker right here. I could drop this in and it's going to give me access to a lot more tools. So overall, just like I said at the beginning, you can do similar things with both of these tools in creating this board and creating a task manager, but Notion is going to give you access to a lot of other tools as well that you can't access on Trello. Once again, it just is a bit of a steeper learning curve, especially if you have never used Notion before. So that is my comparison for Notion versus Trello. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.